Basic Math, Chapter 13, Section 1, Pictographs. Data is information gathered from surveys. A graph is a visual display of data. A pictograph uses pictures to show the data in a graph. Example, make a pictograph of the data in the table. So we got corporate contributions. And then step one, choose a picture to represent the information. Assign a number to the picture. So this is the key. So maybe we put uh, image of money equaling $100,000. So that's the key. Each money picture is 100,000. And step two, round the data to match the key. The key is 100,000, so round to the nearest 100,000. Then step three, draw the graph. Be sure to give your graph a title. So they have a key, a title, and then instead of numbers, we just have images of money representing how much each of these corporations gave in contributions to something. All right, so here we can make a pictograph of the data from these tables. For one, let's round to the nearest hundred, which makes sense because each of these are some amount of a hundred. Nothing's more than a thousand and nothing is less than less than a hundred. Summer camp attendance. So we've got camps and attendance. Summer camp. What do we think of a summer camp? Maybe we can make a key that has I don't know, maybe campfire symbols. I wonder if I could copy it. I don't know how to do that. Maybe I could do it again. Uh, looks like I can make some more campfires. All right, so maybe I made them too big, but that's okay. We got, gotta make our key. So I gotta get some of these extras out of the way. Then we're gonna E. All right, so let's make our key. So each campfire equals 100 campers. So we've got to round them to the nearest. So this would be 300. This would be 700, 600, 600, and 500. And just to remind us how we round, we are rounding to the 100, so I'll underline that. And then we're looking at the number to the right. Oh, that didn't help. Uh, that's a five. In my highlighter. So we look at the three and we are rounding to the hundred. If it's five or more, up the score. If it's not, it stays the same. So now we need our symbols. So if each fire represents 100 campers, then we can make. our symbols. All 
All right, so we got three symbols for computer camp. I'll need seven for safari camp. What have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm getting the hang of this copy and paste. Uh, of course, I made the campfire too big, but we can get the idea. So for computer camp, we've got our three symbols because each symbol represents 100 campers. For safari camp, we've got seven symbols for 700 campers. So we write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven of them. So we could do that for the rest of the, the symbols, uh, but you can make your picture look like anything you want it to be. Uh, if you'd like, you could practice. Oh, that's not taking that with it. You could practice in your workbook for chapter 13, section one. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.